<laughs> hey everybody, Jerry Mitchellick here. I'm at the Bradford Sportsman's Farm with Big Daddy Unlimited. Uh, they let me shoot their grease gun, guys. This is a U.S. issue. Uh, it came into U.S. inventory in the end of 1942, and the whole idea behind it was to make something very economical. It's all stamped metal. I think the price tag back then during the war was 15 bucks. This is the very first models which had a side charging handle. So if it's an it's a open bolt firearm, so which means there's no safety other than the dust cover on this one. So that's safe, that's fire, and if the bolt is down and you want it to load it, you just put a mag in and cock it and shoot it. The later models were even cheaper. That's the U.S. government for you. They took this little fancy charging handle completely off the firearm, and all you had was a, a hole in the top, and you cocked it with your thumb. So they must have thought a lot of their soldiers back in the Second War. But anyway, <laughs> I've never shot one before. From what I've read, it's got a rate of fire of about 450 rounds a minute, so it's supposedly very controllable. And uh, we're going to try to shoot this target on the left, do a mag dump on it. Let's see what it sounds like. That is extremely controllable. You can even look around while you're shooting. I think my revolver is faster than that. <laughs> all right, <laughs> that was kind of fun. Actually, no recoil at all. So, got a bunch of targets downrange. Let's go ahead and give them a little love here. So there you have it guys, grease gun. Oop. And it's getting a little dirty. So there you have it guys, 45 caliber grease gun. Get some.